the location of which all the university guys dreamed of. After all, Jessica was famous as a very educated and cultured girl, developing literally in all areas. She was chairman of the Students' Association. Her musical talent for playing the piano left no one indifferent. Jessica did not lag behind in more dynamic sports, where she diligently studied ballet and became a state champion in fencing. While Michael was turning over in his head all the merits of this university beauty, he was noticed by students sitting nearby, who assumed that he had transferred from another group, since they had not seen him here before. But the young man did not care about them. He was thinking about how to establish contact with Jessica, who constantly keeps only in her own company, and for three years no one has managed to even just talk to her. And then Veronica and her neighbor noticed him, where the neighbor whose name was Inga noted that Michael had dressed up well, which was probably intended to please Veronica. And at the same moment, it was announced that plus ten points had been added to Veronica's position. Glancing sideways in the direction where the girl was, Michael noted to himself that Veronica was really some kind of superficial woman, since her position improved only because he had dressed up a little. But throwing away unnecessary thoughts, the young man tried to focus on how he could meet and add Jessica to the system, from which he was distracted by loud exclamations from the left side of the audience. It was one of the guys who suffers from excessive self-confidence and arrogance, who loudly declared that he was about to get Jessica's phone number. Jessica's attention was also attracted by such statements, which made her very surprised. But she didn't even have time to say a word when a self-confident guy, whose name was Greg, was already nearby and invited the girl to get to know each other better and exchange contacts. But his unceremonious actions only confused Jessica herself, but her roommate who was nearby was not very pleased with this behavior of the young man. Greg, without wasting any time, moved closer and closer to Jessica, saying that they would be a good couple and they should start dating. But suddenly, with a sharp movement, someone's hand pulled the guy away from the girl. It was Jessica's roommate, Kate, who raised her hand over the guy's head, accompanying her actions with the words that he should not dare to come close to her friend. Watching the sharp end of pen above his head, Greg began hastily making excuses that he just wanted to join the student association and Kate misunderstood him. Saying that this was the stupidest excuse to approach the girl, Kate sent the failed gentleman away. But not even a few seconds had passed before the attention of both girls was attracted by another voice, asking Jessica to add him as a friend on a social network, which surprised them a lot. It was Michael, who had already prepared his phone for exchanging contact information. Kate noted out loud that this guy was at least cute and sarcastically inquired about his intention to join the student society. But Michael said as honestly and openly as possible that he was not at all concerned about all these student associations, which prompted the question of why he needed Jessica's contacts at all. Delaying the moment of answer, the young man first said that this should be more than obvious too. But without making much of a pause, he immediately added that he just wanted to date Jessica. Jessica immediately blushed at what was said and didn't know how to respond to such frankness. Moreover, all the people in the audience were shocked by Michael's directness. The result of this frankness was not long in coming and was extremely unexpected for everyone, where the unapproachable Jessica suddenly took out her phone and said that she wouldn't mind trying. Veronica looked angrily at everything that was happening. Waringa, standing next to her, added fuel to the fire, asking the girl whether Michael should be her personal dog and run after her all the time. Meanwhile, Michael, enjoying the victory, concluded that simply that in communication it was not so bad and had just borne fruit. And suddenly there was an announcement that a new target had been added in the person of Jessica, whose location was currently equal to zero. At the end of the lecture, Michael and his comrades and neighbors left the educational building, where the young people accompanying him expressed words of congratulations regarding the establishment of relations with Jessica. They asked him, after closer communication with her, to introduce them to her friends, to which Michael replied that it was too early to think and talk about it. A rather rude call made the young man turn away from the conversation and turn around. It was Greg and his henchmen who expressed his misunderstanding and dissatisfaction with how Michael managed to get the contact of the first beauty of the university, to which the young man simply replied that Greg should not embarrass himself now more than what had already happened in the audience. This statement infuriated Michael's opponent, but his impulse towards physical violence was restrained by his comrades, recalling the words of the police after the last arrest that next time they would face prison.
Michael was about to continue on his way when his attention was attracted by the familiar voice of Angelica, who said that she had been waiting to meet him for a very long time. This statement by the first beauty of the Faculty of Arts shocked everyone on the street, and Michael, without being at a loss, said that in order to compensate for the girl's weight, he would treat her to dinner. But the girl refused dinner and asked if the young man liked the way she looked with the things he bought her, to which Michael noticed that she looked simply amazing, especially with that handbag. Veronica listened to all this, huddled among the crowd of students, feeling feelings of jealousy and annoyance raging inside her. Meanwhile, Angelica took Michael's arm, and together they walked away from the walls of the university, continuing their dialogue and leaving behind the shocked crowd. And Greg, also watching what was happening, literally with tears in his eyes, wondered what was wrong with him. Veronica couldn't stop her tears either, asking herself many questions, including why Angelica was better than her and why Michael made such a choice. The time was approaching evening, and the sun gradually began to sink lower and lower. Angelica suddenly stopped her movement and, turning to face Michael, showed him her recent work. It was a portrait of Michael, where the girl explained that she had stayed up late to finish it. She insisted that the young man take the gift, where she stated that she would not forgive him if he threw away the portrait. The young man was shocked by this attitude because this was the first gift from a girl in his entire life. Satisfied with the reaction, Angelica smiled sweetly and asked if the young man liked the portrait. For a while, Michael just silently looked at the portrait, not showing any emotion. But gradually, some thoughts began to form in his head. He remembered the girl's previous attention to him regarding his clothes and his appearance, the air kiss, and now this gift, and decided that these were just tricks on her part so that he would fall into her network. The young man concluded that Angelica specially developed such a plan immediately after he spent several thousand on her. Smiling evilly, Michael concluded that he was no longer the same as before and would not fall for all these tricks. The girl, observing the changes in the facial expressions of the young man, mentally noted that he did not look joyful. Finally, Michael, portraying the most indifferent expression on his face, asked why he needed this picture. This reaction of the young man greatly confused the girl, who simply did not know how to respond to this and Michael suddenly shortened the distance and asked how the girl intended to pay for all the gifts he had given. And at the same moment, with a deft movement, he snatched the piece of paper with the portrait from Angelica's hands. With his other hand, he stopped the movement of the girl's hand, which tried to take away the sheet of paper. Indecently shortening the distance again, he said that he liked the girl herself more than her gift, which made her cheeks turn pink. Angelica felt how she literally dissolved in the most pleasant feelings when this young man was nearby, when he touched her. And at that moment, the voiceover announced to Michael that plus five points had been added to the girl's disposition. Pleased with himself, Michael was preparing to continue his onslaught, which was already bringing the girl into ecstasy. But suddenly their almost complete embrace was broken by a guy who rushed between them. He, turning to Angelica, reproached her for refusing to go for a walk with him under the pretext of going for a manicure with a friend while she was hugging some stranger.